Unit 10 is all about competing across borders and multi-country strategies. It doesn't take much thinking to realise that the moment you step out of your home market and your domestic market and you start competing in other countries, a whole range of complexities come up about strategy. There are cultural complexities to do with things like language and religion and attitudes to time and the way people relate to each other and the needs of customers in different countries will be different because of their cultural background, their demography will be different. Uh, moving beyond culture, there are things like infrastructure that are different. Um, broadband internet access, um, educational support, um, the ability, the transport infrastructure, the ability of electricity and power to be made available. So there are infrastructure issues, there are cultural issues, and there are risks associated with things like different economic growth rates, um, different currencies, a whole range of complexities that we need to think about. And in this unit, we're trying to sensitise you as a strategic manager to how we cope with those, how we anticipate those things, how we cope with them and we factor them into the strategy and whether we quite frankly go for creating new businesses in each country that we want to operate in and letting them be standalone businesses or whether we want in fact to be a multinational where the organisation does some bits centrally and some bits locally or a global organisation which has a value chain that operates in multiple countries but is managed as one value chain. And all of those things are discussed in the unit, but the critical issue is for you to be aware of the fact that the moment you cross borders and go into another country, the complexities of strategy go up almost exponentially and therefore it needs careful thought, careful planning and excellence in execution. So through this unit, get a sense of what it is that you need to factor into your thinking about crossing borders and managing multi-country strategies, but also uh, get your head around how vitally important it is that you manage that and execute on that well. Just before I close out this unit discussion though, I just want to highlight by now your team, because you're working in a team environment for assignment two, by now your team will be very well progressed, I hope, in getting ready to submit your assignment to the team assignment, the integrative team assignment. I just want to highlight for you that you really need to check and make sure that in your assignment to, you've clearly developed your understanding as a team of and, and applied the concepts, models and frameworks, not just from unit one to six, the stuff that you did in assignment one, but from units seven through 10 and 11. It really is important and you're going to be judged on whether your team assignment <clears throat> clearly demonstrates a growth and development in your understanding of the concepts, models and frameworks all the way through to week 11, not just a repetition at a team level of what you did in assignment one. So be careful that you've made sure to connect to units 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 in assignment two. And I wish you good luck in that team assignment.